In this video, I'm going to answer some questions that I've gotten over the years about riding a full suspension here in Florida and for flatter trails in general. And I've said in the comments something that sounds counterintuitive, but full suspension for me for cross country riding actually makes more sense on flatter terrain than it does in the mountains. And I'll explain why. So I'm basically talking about riding a hardtail versus full suspension for cross country type riding, whether you're in Florida or some trail in Wisconsin or some flatter area where you would think that a hardtail makes the most sense. And I'm gonna explain in this video why I'm actually faster on full suspension versus a hardtail. The reason is, when I'm on my local trails, we have a lot of roots on our trails. And I find it easier to stay in the saddle and pedal versus standing up over the roots. I'm faster, I save my legs. Now I have the Garmin Rally pedals, which is a power meter pedal, and I have the double-sided. So you can get them in just one sided, you know, just one pedal that has a power meter built in. I have the, the double-sided. When I look at my standing versus seated time when I'm riding my cross country bike, or honestly any bike really in, on, in this area, I'm in the saddle pedaling like 99% of the time. So personally, I'm the kind of rider who I stay in the saddle more and my legs feel better. So after a long hard ride or race, the less I stand, the fresher my legs feel. Now, the reason I said full suspension makes more sense to me riding on flatter terrain with a lot of roots. Now that is, that is important to, to note because here in Florida, I ride trails where we have a lot of trees. And when you have a lot of trees, you're gonna have a lot of roots on the trail. In fact, I'll just kind of go off on a tangent here and say that the mountain biking in Florida is way better than most people think it would be, uh, especially people who live in the mountains out west or whatever. Uh, we have some really, really good trail systems in Florida. Uh, they are kind of localized. Maybe I'll make a video one time about the, the main trail systems in Florida and where to ride when you come here. Because a lot of people come to Florida, right? I mean, it's a vacation state. People come for the beach. Uh, where I ride, it, it looks more like the hardwoods of North Georgia or North Carolina than Florida. So we have a lot of roots. When you're on a hard tail in the mountains, on the climbs, you're standing a lot of times, just powering up the climbs. And when you're descending, you're out of the saddle. And so even though full suspension is great on the descents, you're out of the saddle on a hard tail, letting the bike kind of move around. So you're honestly off the saddle more riding in the mountains than you would be on flatter terrain. On flatter terrain, like I said earlier, I'm in, the, I'm in the saddle, I'm pedaling hard, I'm pushing. Even when I'm cornering, when I'm coming out of a corner, I just stay in the saddle, like all the time. I get good traction that way, and like I said earlier, I save my legs. Now, I, I did years ago, this is before I had a YouTube channel, I did time trial comparisons of a hardtail versus full suspension. I always felt faster on the hardtail every single time. But when I looked at the times, I was faster on the full suspension. Because the full suspension, you just feel like you're floating over stuff better. You're in so, such better control on some, you know, really, really bumpy sections. You don't feel like you're fighting the bike. When you feel like the bike's just bouncing around and, and, and you're fighting it, it, sometimes it just makes you feel faster. But for me, now, now everybody's different. We all have different riding styles, but I have a feeling that most riders, if you did a comparison on full, a, a cross country full suspension, right? We're not talking enduro or even long travel trail. We're talking down country like this bike or a cross country bike. I have a feeling that most riders on these kind of full suspensions would be faster on flatter trails than they would be in a hardtail. Again, if you have a lot of roots. Now, if the trail is really buff and smooth, then yeah, you probably be faster on a hardtail just because it's lighter. It accelerates really well out of the corners. Now my riding style is to where I don't like sprint out of a corner. And I think that 
if you are in a longer race, cross country or you know, a marathon type race, endurance race, you need to save your legs and you don't need to be sprinting out of corners. Uh, you need to, you know, you, I push hard out of corners, but it's, like I said, it's not a sprint. So yeah, that, again, I just wanted to make this quick video to kind of clarify that because I've responded to a lot of comments over the years about that kind of, call it phenomenon, that um, I'm faster on a full suspension on flatter trails. And that's the reason why. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you disagree, if you agree, if maybe you've done some time trials like I have to compare hardtail versus full suspension. Which one are you faster on and what type of terrain do you ride? So that's it. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.